Hey guys, welcome back to Excel Tech Mining and Crypto channel. So what I'd like to do today is to give everybody an update on that last video I did of comparing Flux Pools and Hero Miners uh, post Ethereum merge. So I uploaded this video on the 24th of September and I actually recorded my seven days of mining from Flux Pools, including the rewards that I got from that video. I'll post a link to this video if you haven't seen it yet. And then after this, um, I actually switched everything back over to Hero Miners to see which pool was actually going to give me more flux uh, with my actual hash rate that I have. So without further ado, I'll go straight into the actual uh, spreadsheet. So if we just do a quick recap, so everything above this orange highlight here was um, pre-Ethereum merge. And after the merge, I'd only mined for about two days here. So taking an average on all of that, I was making about 13.24 um, flux in that in a seven day period of time estimated. So on flux pools, uh, these were the actual amounts deposited into my wallet for those seven days. And parallel assets paid was 4.84. And I actually got a bonus of 1.74 from the weekly rewards. So if you keep hash rate up for seven days, above I think it's like 99% or 98%, you actually get paid out additional flux per week. And the total of that was actually 13.64 flux. So if you look at what we're actually making, including um, our parallel assets being paid out per day, we're making about 1.94 flux per day on flux pools. Now switching out since uh, the 24th of September, I've been mining for you know the last three weeks on Hero Miners. So for the first seven days after switching to Hero Miners, you can see that I was making about on average 2.35 flux per day compared to 1.94. So we're actually making you know more flux mining on Hero Miners, and the total we actually mined was 16.47. So keep in mind that Hero Miners actually. Uh, pays out their parallel assets uh, instantly except for the pending parallel assets they're the ones that haven't actually been uh, released yet so I made 16.47 um, flux in that seven day period compared to 13.64 on uh, flux pools including my weekly uh, reward so last week from the 2nd of October all the way to the 8th of October you can see the average was 2.19 and we made about 15 flux for the whole week. In between here, I think there was another parallel asset payout of 15 flux. Um, and that's what this one is. I think this is what I this is what I think this is. I don't think it's any of the prize money that Hero Miners was actually offering because I think the prize that they were offering was I think uh, $250 worth of flux. So I don't think you know, 15 flux is about maybe $20 worth of flux. And this last week that's just gone by, uh, on average, we're making about 2.07 uh, flux per day and 14.54 flux overall. So you can see every week it's dropping a little bit as, you know, different people are switching algorithms and switching coins and the hash rate goes up, hash rate goes down. So difficulty will also change. So in summary, I think the results for me at least speak for themselves currently that uh, at least with the rig that I have, it's better to mine on hero miners because I'm actually making a little bit more per week uh, compared to flux pool. So as this drops, I'm sure flux pools is also dropping down as well. So I think that um, long term I'll be mining with uh, hero miners. The only other consideration that uh, you might want to look at is that on Flux Pools, they basically have uh, the loyalty, right? So the loyalty, if you have 97% uptime, uh, you get an additional up to four Flux extra. So with what I had mined that week with my hash rates, um, which is roughly about four, about 500 souls, um, but depending on the algorithm that um, it's switching to at the time, but on average is about four to 500 souls. I made an extra 1.74 flux in rewards. 
but you also see that they're actually doing a uh, $50 in flux. Five miners each week will win $50 in flux if you keep 95% uptime. So obviously, if you are lucky enough to, if you're one of these five miners out of the 3,566 miners on the server, on the pool, then you might get an extra 50 bucks in flux. So, you know, that's roughly maybe say 42, 43 flux and then plus your additional loyalty. So, you know, in that week, you could get a big boost to your flux mining, okay? So I'm not sponsored by flux pools uh, or don't have any sponsorships. So, you know, if you take that into consideration, then obviously, you know, if, you, if I added 40, 42 flux to this, 50 something flux for that week, you know, that's gonna blow everything out, you know, of the water. Um, so you're basically gonna get this by four, so four weeks, so they 40, 52 flux plus 40, 90 something flux for that month as opposed to 40 something flux. So, you know, for the month, you're getting double. So there's a chance that you could, you know, um, get that additional $50 in flux. So, but for me, for slow and steady, I think looking at the flux paid per day, I'm getting, you know, including my power assets, I'm getting two flux per day um, compared to uh, 1.94. Um, so it's a lot over the two. So I think that for me, um, staying on hero miners is probably the way to go. And if you look at what to mine, it says we should get about 2.27 flux per day. So I think that in the long run, I'm getting close to that in terms of on hero miners. So I think uh, staying on hero miners is what I would do. So if you look at my hero miners um, kind of graph here, it's saying that, you know, we're getting about 2.4 average mined, 2.6, 2.8 mined per day. So there is a slight discrepancy because of, obviously this is what I actually received in my wallet. So I'm calculating the actual proceeds from the mining and um, on my hero minus pool, it's telling me how much actual flux I have mined per day. So here you can see 2.4, 2.4, 2.6, 2.8, 2.5, 2 2.3. So I would say on average, we're making about 2.4 to 2.5 uh, flux per day. And if I look at my estimate earnings, it's saying that at the current difficulty, I should make about two flux per day on hero miners. So I would say that, you know, um, do your own kind of comparison, but I think hero miners is the way to go for me. If you look at on mining pool stats, you'll see hero miners like the third most popular um, uh, mining pool here. So flux pools is probably, you know, it's probably gonna be even lower than this now three weeks later because, you know, so much hash rate is actually on um, flux pools. They're like the number one you know, pool here. So spreading out our hash rate to different pools um, will probably give us a better result. So just try these, you know, kind of these, probably these top four, top five kind of um, pools to see if it actually gives you and your rig like a better kind of result. But at the moment, you know, here in mind is still on the zero, uh, zero fee. So you're actually, you know, making a little bit of extra at the time. So what's the plan going ahead? Um, if you look at the price of flux, it's currently at about, you know, 88 cents USD. And so with the little bit of um, chart knowledge that I, uh, that I know of, uh, I can see here that there was a divergence. A divergence basically means that we had a price here and then a higher price here. But on the RSI, but on the RSI, is telling us that the buyers actually uh, actually weakening. So we got a high buyer's price, we got a high here, and then we got a higher price here, but a lower strength here, which which basically is telling us you know the the buying strength is weakening. So there's a divergence here; they don't match up, and so basically the price was going to come down. And this is on the daily chart. So this is that support level that the price needed to break to go actually go start going downwards. So you can see the price broke here. This candle here was the latest CPI data that came out uh, two days two days ago. And it's kind of did a bounce up. But you can see here, the price now is at this resistance point. Resistance point. 
So if this if this resistance holds, uh, I think the price is going to come back down. So what I'm waiting for is for price to retest the levels here. This is one of these support levels. So there's a big support level here at the 0.78 Fibonacci retracement. So it did nearly get there and kind of close to that and rebounded. So it's probably going to test this again. If it breaks this support here, because there's quite a lot of support here where price tried to break out, um, I think it's going to come down to test this. Maybe come down to test these levels. I doubt it'll come down here, but it may. So, but I think that if price comes down to this level here, I'm looking to buy some flux because uh, in AUD, that's going to be, you know, uh, maybe around 70, 70, 80 cents. And I can get a thousand flux for quite a cheap price or maybe say fill in the maybe 800 flux because I've already mined 200 flux to get to my 1000 flux for my staking. So I'm just keeping an eye on price and seeing where it's actually going at the moment. This looks like it's rejecting this level here. So I would say that there's a high chance that this is going to reject and start coming down towards this level here. This will be the next support and see whether it comes down to this level here. So at this level, it may be a good opportunity uh, for me at least to look at getting some uh, flux directly to get to my 1000 flux for staking. So none of this is financial advice, it's just my own study and my own understanding of how the price charts works. Um, we'll look here, there's a big uh, the 200 moving average here it's it's a big resistance so you know there's a high lot chance that this will come up and kind of reject here at the 200 moving average and kind of come down so we'll see what happens over the next couple of next week and see where this is going the overall crypto market is always still in this kind of downtrend and we just kind of see where the lowest of the low is going to be but this may be an opportunity for me at least to look at uh, getting into flux uh, directly so what's next for the next video um, so I found out from Red Panda Mining that LOL Miner actually released a new version that's supposed to give you 15% more uh, hash rate on Ampere uh, so I've got all 3000 series um, GPUs so it should give us 15 to 20% more hash rate so I'm going to do a test on that next the latest version said it gave another 1.5 to 2.5% uh, kind of increase in hash rate. So the next video, I'm gonna compare um, what I'm currently on with um, Mini Z Miner because Mini Z has been the best uh, miner to give you the best hash rate previously. And I'm gonna compare that to LL Miner and see if we can get, let's see, if it's saying 15 to 20% plus another. Yeah, so let's say 17 to 22% more extra hash rate. So with what I've got, you know, um, let's say 10% more, we might make, you know, 3.3, 3.5 flux currently on the uh, on what this is telling us here. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So hopefully today's um, video has been entertaining and informative. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see more of in the comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. It really helped the channel go a long way. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.